Hey guys, I'm Brian, and today we're going to take a quick look at the Cyborg Rat 9 a wireless gaming mouse. I really like it. I had one for quite some time, and it broke. And then I was sent another one by Mad Cats, who makes it, and that one broke. And um, so now I'm reviewing the last one, and uh, I, I'm happy to say it's been serving me pretty well. And I want to just show you guys this mouse real quick. I did get this mouse because I was looking for something that was really ergonomic, and um, I do think that it's managed to meet those needs pretty well, and I'll show you why. Um, anyway, I've opened it up, obviously. This is what is inside the box. Uh, you get your mouse, of course. It's all in this nice presentation. You get your mouse. We'll talk about the mouse in a few moments here. You have your charging bay, which is right here, and you have your battery. Uh, I'm going to take the charging bay out, show it to you. Um, it's, you know, obviously it's like kind of futuristic looking, um, which I, I, is cool. I mean, when it's on your desk, you know, it'll look cool, which I guess is probably the most um, slightly important thing. It does have sort of a cloth... Uh, USB cable on it that is nice and long, which is good, and um, your battery just charges right inside of this. It's a little hard to see because of lighting right here, and because it's black, so it's, it's absorbing all of the light, but your battery charges right here, and then here you can place your uh, your weights, and that's actually something I should grab. This is the weight holder and um, why does it have a weight holder, you ask? Well, the reason is because this mouse can be weighted. Um, and again, I'm going to show that to you in a second. I just want to get through all the parts here. You've got these different heel rests for the heel of your palm that you can attach to the mouse. And then you have some different finger rests as well. All of these things get attached to the mouse depending on how you want to customize the mouse. So this is the Rat9 right here. And um, again, I, I really like this mouse because it's very ergonomic. And here's the reason why. Utilizing this little sort of screwdriver that's at the back of the unit, you can take off the side finger rest. There's a pinky rest right here. We're going to take it off as carefully as we can. Alright, so there's the screw. And now what we can do is we can attach this other rest onto the mouse. And it's not too hard to do, although I don't do this on camera very often, so I apologize. Yeah, so you can see I don't do this on camera as often as you might think I would. but. All right, there we go. Now, the little screwdriver stores at the back of the mouse, so you can get at it whenever you need it. It's a little hard to see, but what's happening here is my pinky is resting on this rest right here. And then the rest of the mouse also really kind of contours to my hand. I can change this thumb rest. I can change its if it's closer to the mouse or further away which is really nice, um, and, uh, you know, overall, like, just ergonomically, it feels really good, which I think is something that's, that's kind of cool about this mouse. Um, now, it's just a simple two-button mouse. It does have backwards and forward buttons right here, and then you have this thumb wheel, and finally you have a sniper button. Now, all this stuff is programmable through the Cyborg software, which you need to install to use this on your computer. And uh, what I did in my case is I set the thumb wheel to be a number of page up and page down keys, just as if I were pressing those on my keyboard. And that allows me to just quickly scroll up and down through documents, web pages, things like that. Um, because that was a function I really liked on my Logitech mouse is I had this free wheel on my scroll wheel and I could flick it and just scroll through documents. When I went to the Rat9, I wanted something that would replace that and um, that was about the only option that I could find was editing that thumb wheel. The sniper button will basically slow down the movement of your mouse greatly 
Um, and that's going to kind of depend. I mean, I don't really use this for gaming. I should let you know. I use this entirely for uh, heavy video and audio work. And that's why I got it again, because I hold a mouse probably 12 hours a day and I wanted something that contoured really well to my hand and this one did it. However, that sniper button is pretty handy because it's really nice to get fluid motion, slow motion when I'm working in Photoshop and things like that that require really finite detail uh, to what it is that I'm doing. So that's kind of cool. Again, simple two button mouse. The buttons are kind of separated and spread out so it feels pretty natural for your fingers. The scroll wheel is nice, it's rubberized, it is clicky, so it can be a third button for doing things like opening links and new tabs in a browser and stuff like that. And then you have a couple different buttons right here. This one that's in the middle, as you can see as I click it, this light on the left hand side of the mouse goes up and down. This is a sensitivity meter, you can set different sensitivity settings on the mouse depending on how sensitive you want the mouse to be. And then you have mode selectors right here, and there's three different modes. As you can see, there's three different colors, three different modes. That way you can switch between different modes, maybe one for gaming, one for normal usage, one for video editing or something like that. Um, so, you know, overall, it feels really nice, and it's pretty customizable. Uh, there's one more little bit of customization here, and that is, as I say, the heel rest. Now, this can slide off with this little button that's on the side of it and you can take it off. Underneath there you're going to find the battery and the battery just simply slide, uh, slides out. Slide it back in. You're going to want to keep the battery, one battery charging at all times because the battery life in this mouse is not great. I think it works out to maybe five or six hours and that depends on how much you're using it in the long run. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind but you've always got one charging so you should be good. Uh, as I say you can remove that uh, that heel rest, that palm rest, and then you can place a new one on. Again, you can tell I don't do this on camera very often. It'll click on, and as you can see, I can adjust the distance of it on the mouse. So depending on how far up or far back you want it to be, you can adjust that. kind of depends on your hand, uh, how big your hand is. Obviously, I have big hands, so I like to be able to adjust this all the way to the back. Finally, this is where the whole weight thing comes in. If I flip it over, you see the weights right here, and they're just in front of the little uh, laser eye reader. Now, this is um, not a visible laser. I found that this tracks really well on just about anything. It tracks really well on black. I have a black desk, and it tracks really well on it. Um, I have wondered from time to time if it gets dirty too easily, because I had to clean it off a lot, and I had to clean these pads off on the bottom many, many times. Your power button is right there as well. Uh, anyway, I'm sorry, moving on to the weights. So the weights, this is another thing that attracted me to this mouse. The weights uh, allow you to change how much the mouse weighs. You can take off this little um, black retainer right here and then take off all of the weights. Each of these is, I think, somewhere around a gram a piece. So you can basically add or subtract weight from this mouse, which I think is pretty cool because uh, it's well known that the weight of your mouse really has a tendency to contribute to fatigue. Um, you might need a heavier mouse because you're a bit more heavy-handed. You might need a lighter mouse because you're not that heavy-handed, and you can adjust the mouse as you see fit as a result of changing those weights on the mouse. So that's something that I do think is pretty cool um, about the Rat9 mouse from Madcats is how customizable it is. It's certainly a more pricey mouse than what you probably usually paid for a mouse, but let's face it, you're going to be holding a mouse, if you're like me, you're probably holding a mouse for, as I say, upwards of 12 hours. And, um, you know, if, if that's the case, you should get something good. You should not be using a El Cheapo wired mouse or some crap like that. Um, that's the last thing I should mention is the uh, wireless compatibility with this mouse. It's a 2.4 gigahertz wireless mouse. So it operates at roughly the same frequency as a lot of phones, wireless phones in your house usually do, which I do think is, um, is pretty good because I found that I can move pretty far away from my computer and still get good tracking with this mouse. Um, so 
I have to say that the wireless functionality of this mouse is very impressive overall, and that wireless receiver slash charger does its job really well. And I mean, again, it looks cool. Um, the weight holder, as I say, was the little plastic bit that I showed you earlier. That'll hold your extra weights, which you can place right here uh, in the uh, Wi-Fi adapter. Overall, um, I do think this is a really cool mouse. I think it's worth the money in the long run. Mad Cat support is pretty darn good. An impressive mouse, I believe. Uh, you don't have to be a gamer to use it, which is pretty important to me. There's some gaming mouse mice out there that are really atrocious. The shape of them is terrible. They have way too many buttons, um, and I just don't see why anyone would use them, gamer or not, And because they're not really that ergonomic. And the whole point of an ergonomic mouse, a gaming mouse, is it should be able to um, you know, fit itself to your hand a little bit. I don't like trackballs. I don't like a lot of the different mice options out there. I don't like touch pads and all that junk. I like an old-fashioned mouse, but I like to be able to know that I can hold the thing and not feel like I'm going to die at the end of the day. This one does that pretty well. So there you go, guys. That is the Mad Cats Rat 9 uh, Cyborg mouse coming to you from Mad Cats, of course. You can find this, as I say, I got mine on Amazon. You can find it in a number of different places. There are other versions of the Mad Cats mice out there, and um, you know you may want to check the different mice out and see which one you want. If you like wired, there are wired versions, more, and uh, I prefer wireless myself, but there are wired mice if you prefer a, wi prefer a wired one. And uh, of course, the tuning software for the mouse is pretty good as well, allows you to really customize the mouse. There's some things that are sort of missing from it and a little screwy, I think, but I haven't really had any issues and no driver issues. I'm running Windows 8 on my machine. I've also run Windows 7, not had any problems. This is Mac compatible as well. Um, for those of you out there that use Macs. Anyway, this has gone on long enough. We hope that you guys found this useful. If you have questions, comments, anything else, please feel free to be in touch with me. Thanks so much for watching, and take care. Red lies, force fed, what you believe.